my name is Grace, and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is A Baby and a Bush, Birth of Moses and the Burning Bush. Let's read. Egypt was filled with Israelites. The new power was afraid that the Israelites would become too powerful, so he made them slaves and treated them very badly. So Egypt was followed Israelites because do you remember that Joseph has told to his family that come to Egypt? So they were full of Israelites. So Paro was becoming too afraid and they they forgot Joseph. that all baby Israelites boys have to be killed. One woman put her baby in a basket and hide them by the river edge. His sister watched him, so Para told Israel that killed all the baby boys. So they killed the baby boys. But one mother, one woman put her baby in a basket and hide in the river age. Question the Param made the Israelites slaves because he saw they were becoming too weak? No. Power made the Israelites slaves because he thought they were becoming too strong. Power's daughter was passing by the river. She found the baby and decided to keep him. His sister offered their mother's help to care for him. Power's daughter named him Moses. So. When Paro's daughter, the princess, was passing by the river and she found the baby in the basket, so she decided to keep him. And his sister, the baby's sister, was watching him, so he, she, so she told the princess, the Paro's daughter, that. Her mom can take care of him, and they name him Moses. <laughs> Moses grew up. One day, he saw an Egyptian beating an Israel. Moses killed the Egyptian, then he ran away to Midian and was a shepherd for 40 years. So when Joseph and Moses grew up, he knew that he was an Egyptian. So one day he saw Egyptian beating an Israel. So he was so angry with that. So he killed the Egyptian and then ran away. And he was shepherd for 40 years. <laughs> Moses was watching his street on Mount Horeb. The voice of God spoke from a burning bush. My people are suffering, Moses. I have chosen you to free them. So Moses was watching his sheep one day, and one day, the voice of God spoke from a burning bush. It was a burning bush, but the bush didn't burn. And the voice said, my people are suffering. I have chosen you to free them.
Moses is correct. I, I will help you. God promised. Throw down your stuff. Moses did, and it turned to into a snake. When he picked it up again, it was a stuff again. So, Moses said, I can't. I can't free them. I have just run away from Egypt. How can I let them free? And God promised that he, God will help Moses. So, also God shown Moses the miracles. How did God speak to Moses? Number one, the burning bush. Number two, the basket. And number three, power. Number one was the correct answer. Put your hand in your clothes. God said, Moses did. He looked at his hands was covered with Jesus. When he did it again, it was healed. Show power that God said. So also, God told another miracle. God showed another miracle. Oh. I, I'm not the good speaker, said Moses. I'll give you the words. God said, your brother Aaron can help you too. So Moses went to tell Paro to send the Israelites free. So God help God Moses said, I can't I can't free them. But God was kept saying, You can you can free them. I will help you. <laughs> God promised to help Moses when he went to tell Paro to let the Israel f go free. True. God helped Moses. Yesterday I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy the next time I'll read another good story? Then let's see you next time. Bye!